250 Gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News Channel. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter. I got another bomb news segment, bringing the news to you like no other. But before I begin, hit the like button, the subscribe button, that share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. If you'd like to support the channel, Cash App, Dallas Sign Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Grandma, well, we say hood grandma was letting them white folks know she ain't the one to be played with. Oh, she was letting them know. Grandma on the plane said she refused to help anybody, especially old Betty, don't white folks, on the plane if an emergency occurs. She said, I'm not, I'm not open up that uh, open up that door. I'm not gonna go through all the protocols. She said, if I'm gonna save anybody, I'm going to save myself. My black ass come first. I got a video I wanna play for y'all, and I'm gonna be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. On an airplane with an airline attendant. So this particular case, it was a woman and she called herself a grandma. She was acting kind of funky with the airline attendant when the airline attendant was giving instructions in regards to the exit row. So anybody who's ever flown a sat in the exit row, they give you special instructions basically saying that you have to be able physically to help people in the case of an emergency get off of the plane because they're going to be going through the exit row, right? And so they also ask you to verbally each person agree, yes, I agree, or something along those lines. Well, a woman uh, on TikTok by the name of Travel with Tia said that originally grandma said, I'm not going to help nobody else. I'm going to help myself. But then she changed her mind once I guess the airline attendant was like, okay, then you got to get up and sit somewhere else. And so this is about the first minute of what happened because the min the video is about almost six minutes long. So check it out. You like to get a note? That's the thing. We already agreed. Yeah, she's talking to me. What is the problem? Because she don't want to tell us her name. I know she's not going to get a So what I'm seeing is the flight attendant did show that everybody in this row has to help out, but they're but this it's funny because this is a black flight attendant, but she's only talking to the black folk right here. The ones right next to the door. So is it the whole row or just the door? Because she's asking. Well, how come you're not asking everybody else in this road? She said the entire row is responsible. This is the emergency row. There's going to be people trying to get through this row. So the grandmother is trying to figure out, the black grandmother right here is trying to figure out, why are you only talking to me? Why aren't you talking to nobody else? Then she says something about music. There's more to this story. Get her off, and she wasn't budging. And in fact, she got on the phone talking about, I'm calling my turn. 
attorney. And it's like, Grandma, what was your attorney going to do? Your attorney ain't got no power. So your attorney's job is to fight that in court if you decide to sue. And it was Frontier Airlines, um, if I hadn't already said that. Okay. And so during the altercation, she was like, I'm not getting off this plane. I got to go get my grandson. He's four years old. And I got to be there before he get out of school. Because his mama's on the plane to Mexico herself. And I ain't getting off, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Grandma. Now, if you knew that your grandson was depending on you to pick him up, why was you acting that way? Why were you behaving like a whole donkey in that (laughs) airplane? Now, I'm going to have to disagree. There was, I think there was some more to this. Um, yeah, she was right. The, the pilot came on, but she said she was going to agree. So I guess the initial, she wasn't going to do it. That's what alerted the flight attendant. So I guess through their training, anybody that refuses, you know, they got to get you up off them. But I'm, 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 here's my thing. Why didn't they just give her another seat? I'm going to meet y'all on the other side to give you my opinion. We're going to dive into this thing. Let's go. Let's go. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250G news commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Now, I didn't, me personally in that video, I didn't hear her say she wasn't going to do it. It sounded like grandma got tired of them white folks running their mouth, bumping their gun because there was another flight attendant and it looked like grandma and the white female flight attendant had words. You know how you just meet somebody and automatically you guys ain't clicking, automatically you just, something about this person just don't like, whether it's their uh, heritage whether it's their ethnicity, their skin color, their sexual preference. It's something about this person I don't like. Their belief system, their aura, their hygiene. It's something about this person. So it was more, from what I've seen, it looked like the issue was really between grandma and uh, the white folks. I don't think it had nothing to do with that emergency thing because she said, I would, uh, you know, I would participate in helping others if need be. Now, when she said, I'll help myself, maybe she was joking. And the black, the younger black female uh, flight attendant, I think she was, I think she was a uppity, bougie black. That's what they call. And the uppity, bougie blacks go just as hard as hood rats and people from the hood on people on the hood. What I mean is, people in the hood, they go at each other like wild dogs. But them bougie blacks, you think the hood, you think niggas from the hood go, go at each other's throats. Get around a bougie black. They can't stand no ghetto ass hood rat. They can't stand people from the ghettos, black people from the ghetto. They can't stand people that come from impoverished neighborhoods and their mindset. They hate their mindset. They hate their clothes. They hate their loud, uh, 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 their attitude, the loud noises they make when they go out in public, they don't know how to act. Bougie blacks, uppity blacks, that's what they call. They can't stand black folks from the hood. So I think by her being a, a bougie black and grandma being from the hood and it looked like the bougie black was sticking up for the other flight attendant because you got to remember they work together. Now, I don't know if they work together all the time, but it, it was more, me and my personal opinion, it looked like the black flight attendant wanted that ghetto grandma off that plane because she saw how she was treating them white folks. More importantly, she saw how she was treating her fellow co-worker. Uh, it was something about that grandma, that black female flight attendant just could not stand that ghetto grandma. Ghetto grandma was getting on her nerves, right? When you go on, in order to be great, we gotta make great decisions. And when you go on these planes, just follow the rules and let's get going. Grandma talking about she gotta pick up her kid at a certain time and this and that grandma tone did begin to change because before she was like, I guess I'll save Betty. So it was grandma's attitude towards white folk, her selfishness, and uh, maybe uh, her joking. Maybe it was her, maybe they took her joke as a serious, statement but when you go on these planes airline air, air anything that involves 
something that serious, something with that type of magnitude, just be like, are you willing to follow the protocol if an emergency happened? Yes, I am. I am willing. And just go on about your day and chill. But grandma talking about, no, it's all about me right now. It's all about me right now. And I'm. she said, look, if y'all really want to know, I ain't saving none of them white folks. See, grandma from the old school. Sound like she from the South. I got, uh, where was, she, where was she coming from? Wherever she was coming from, sound like she from Deep South. Old school hood, and she ain't going for it. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about ghetto grandma refusing to help white folks? In the case of an emergency on Frontier Airlines, 250G News, I'm gone.